Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect Escapes. Today's beverage is a very tasty and indeed very filling dark chocolate and mint protein drink shake type thing. Half beverage, half physical nutrients. So welcome back to Prison Architect Escapes. This is the series where we attempt to break out facilities not made by me. If we go over to extras and most popular prisons on Steam, it doesn't take much of a scroll to find the OG, possibly the most updated facility on the Steam Workshop. It's by Crunchy and it says, as of February 2023, they're retired from updating the map. However, it's been a about eight years of uh, updates for this one so yes it's from alpha 15 to now so i mean that is a very commendable thing to do and it's going to be interesting to see how a facility that started off as quite a legacy thing has been changed and improved obviously over the years and what that may mean for an escape so let's go to play escape mode and we have been given command of prisoner osborne here prisoner number 147486077 immediately i'm seeing double thick perimeter walls i'm seeing seeing snipers and lots of lighting on this uh, hedge here. I mean, like I said, I, um, if I haven't um, played the original, or if I have, it's been quite some time. However, yeah, obviously we've got lots of newish stuff already. There's uh, recycle bins over there. Uh, these lights are relatively new. We've got a really cool haircut there. Um, we've got visitor doors. We have... Hmm, an area in the middle that is... Oh, narcotic search is going on, so that must have been planned. So that's uh, pretty good. Uh, we've got in uh, the staff room here, we've got armories, we've got snipers. All of this is staff only in the middle, but the outer bit isn't. So if we ever managed to get there, we wouldn't be shot, which is curious. We've got a different type of tree. We've got three mail rooms, which is... Well, I like the design in that one. Uh, a very compact and space-efficient... Uh, visitor area which is visitor booths rather than tables so contraband smuggling is not a thing we've got lovely yards here with some long grass and some trees and lovely bushes and such we've got a doggo storage facility here which is curious snipers right in the middle here on these uh yeah, sniper towers. We're being escorted all the way to the left into this cell, and yeah, we'll have to see what the best way to escape is. I'm seeing lots and lots of guards. It is very well staffed, and lots of workers and uh, gardeners there as well. Anyway, so we've got those. We've also got a doggo search there. Um, so our cell here is a nice wooden bed with a, uh, a with a with a nice cushion there, pillow. We've got down the bottom here that appears to be bookshelf, but we've also got gym mat, toilet, shower, and what appears to be a double stack of a TV and a radio. Is that a bug or is that something you can do in the game? I don't know. And a lovely painting there as well. Anyway, we're going to leave here and we do immediately have access to a laundry. So if we were to tunnel, we could go from here and then sort of tunnel across into other people's cells. I'm seeing low risk and high risk prisoners. So it's a mixed category of uh, prison here. Yeah, so we can escape using like the the towels. If we go here, we can pick up things like this, and we have the rope, which is a digging tool. However, I've already seen the dog patrols. I think the dog patrols are actually, they actually go in the cells by the look of it. Is this guy going to go into this one? Yes. So very detailed uh, patrols there. Okay. So we're not going to, we're not going to be able to escape via tunneling. I don't think. That's not going to happen. If we were to tunnel from here across and then down under this foundation that would take me oh so long <laughs> if we were to oh we've just uh, triggered that metal detector we've got nothing on our person so we'll just stand and get searched yes 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 boss uh, nothing nothing boss um yeah so we could tunnel down and through here and you know if you were positioned here it wouldn't be too much of a problem to tunnel down and round I don't think it would be too much problem at all. Um, I, I am seeing a bit of a weak spot in the form of this infirmary. We could get things like scissors and... Oh, is that an actual staff room? It is. Okay. So I think escape is actually quite attainable here because that staff room should... And I'm going to quickly find out. No, I'm going to quickly find out that I can get tears it easily. Uh, it should provide us access to a lighter and then lighters we can then use to uh, 
yeah, to set fire to the wall and then head out that way. So I think that is a potential weak spot. Not for the normal mode, because the, the, the inmates wouldn't do that, but for, for this mode, for the escape mode, I think that's probably what we'll end up doing. But that's just one of the ideas. We've also got psychologist office here as well. So there's there's lots of options for picking up um, lighters so we can we can escape via fire. We've got in all the offices in here, accountants and lawyers and, and uh, a workshop. That's interesting. Now I can't say I've ever really thought about rotating these. Can you or is that a mod? I'm not sure. If you can, yeah, interesting. We have a shop in the middle. Oh, and also the uh, Doggo storage container unit is access accessible by us, which is a thing. The shop's nice. I mean, credit where credit's due. It's a beautiful design. Lots of details gone. It's a time and effort. Um, a discreet canteen with no kitchen in sight. Our kitchen is up here. With the staff door. So we can have access to this. I don't know if this bit here is staff owned. Well, this bit is staff owned. I don't know if this is foundation, but we're not going to be able to go through there. Um, if I was to just head into here, uh, what does that afford? Just bear in mind, we haven't got any traits. So I'm just I'm just a running here. I'm just a running. And yeah. Oh, actually, I say escape by tunneling. That wall there is perimeter. Oh, okay. I take it back. I might not be able to get out in, in a quicker manner as possible. Hmm. Very clever. Okay, this might actually be exceptionally secure now. Um, hmm. We'll have another look around. I think it's symmetrical. So there probably wasn't going to be much of a surprise down here. No, not really. But it would be rude of me not to check it out. In terms of just walking out the front door, is that viable? We could certainly tear a teleport, but that's, you know, that is an, an, a noticeable exploit. Big staff on the area here. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think it would be best if we were to farm some points. Um, oh, that's the thing, actually. We can... We can... Get tasered again. I was I was punching through the wall, and I was trying to break the door servos, because then that would allow us to... Uh, yeah, potentially... Oh, good grief. Uh, potentially, like, make a door open. Okay. Um, Alright, let's just uh, let's say farm some points. I've just punched a painting there, which is a bit of a shame. Just punching TVs here. My goal is to, let's say, farm, if nothing else, just the tough traits. I don't know if there's any... I'm going to just skip that one. I'm going to go with tough and then extremely tough. I don't know if there is a... Uh, Don't know if there is another way of escaping. Oh, I'm now high risk, but I'm still in the same place. Right, that's fine. And the dog all coming in here. I don't know if there's any armed guards. I uh, I know we've got snipers. We've seen snipers several times. But uh, apparently, I'm, my guy just really can't get enough of just wrecking paintings. This guy really hates art. Uh, skip some punishments here. I'm gonna go with strong, deadly, skilled fighter. Instigate a quick the lot. Just the lot. We're just gonna go full. We're gonna go with a full full set of traits here. Oh no, we're not we're gonna get tears. Um <laughs> most noticing there's like a it's a high risk uh is that a high risk or is he supermax? Well there's certainly someone on our on our uh can say ward and our block. That's uh a wing. That's what I meant. Uh that's high category than us. Trying to punch there, it's not working. Yeah, apparently the guy really dislikes art. So it doesn't matter what you're mousing over, it's sort of like a auto magic thing. So just go there and <laughs> Yeah, not punching anything there. We're unconscious. Skip punishments. Out of all of that, I 
I gained... Actually, I gained quite a number of points. Okay, sorry. I thought we only gained like one or two points. Um, okay. Also, there's a program slash free time in there for coming insane inmates. So there might be something on the other side. I don't think so, though. But uh, we shall see. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself uh, positioned in the infirmary. And we're going to pick up an item uh, that we can attack with. So the needle has got a lot of attack damage or a lot of attack um, speed, I think. And what's it say? Needle is a recharge time of 150 and damage is 75. I'm guessing the scissors are going to be much better. And it's a digging tool. It's uh, faster and it's um, more deadly. So I'm going to attack that guy there. Um, my goal is to basically take out anyone around here. So sadly, I've taken out um, the doggo. My goal wasn't to, well, it's actually the doggo handler, and oh, now, now it's the doggo. And that taser has been fired. Uh, another doggo here. I was going to say exhausted doggo, but no, it's a dead doggo. And, um, oh, hang on. What's happening here? I'm stuck in the door. The door has closed on my person. That is that is not what I wanted, really. Um, it's, it, it's, it's suboptimal, to say the least. Um, every time these guys... Um, <laughs> there we go. Every time these guys come close we will attack and I will get a set of keys at some point but we are going to try for the lighter I'm sure there's a lighter that can be picked up from around here there's the lighter okay let's see if this works so we're going to set fire to drinks machines and this guard obviously will not like any of that uh, switch over to this again their tears has been used I don't want to attack them but I can't afford them uh yeah, doing anything else. Uh, let's go ahead and set fight to these couches here. Um, we can actually get the we can actually turn the power off as well. Looks like that wall is burning. Yeah, it's a bit warm. The heating is definitely on. Can confirm. But will this wall burn? If it doesn't, this might be a bit of a fail. I mean, it might be a fail anyway because. We're currently in quite a tense situation <laughs> where everything is burning, including us. We're almost on half health. And yes, the wall is not going to burn because there's no foundation there. I mean, I can put fire on fire, but that isn't going to help. Oh dear. Fire is, fire is raging a little bit. I can't even see our health bar. That's that's suboptimal. Um, I'm going to have to try and get it to a point where I can see my health bar. Um, <laughs> let's just move over here. Oh, look, we can get another lighter. Don't think that's going to help us out. Um, there is, obviously, people coming to put out the fire. And we've got all the points. <laughs> There's water. Okay. So the wall isn't burning. Well, we're now unconscious, and immediately because of that, the fire goes out. Well, I'll pick up all the points. The power's off now, which is why these door servos are not actuating. So yes, that perimeter wall has prevented what I thought was going to be a, quite an easy escape. Hmm. Hubris, right. Okay, what's the... what is the next way of getting out? Well... The power's off, so it's actually more secure now than it's previously been. <laughs> because all the doors have locked shut. Okay. Well, tunneling is out. Fire is out. Um, visitation. Would being around here help? I'd need a set of keys in order to get out, I believe. And I'd punch that guy and just get tasered. That, gu that guard was not having any of it. I think going out the front door is possibly the only solution left to us. And I think doing it via here is the way forward. So I'm going to pause it for a second. Uh, actually, we won't bother. I'm going to go for... Oh, did I... I, I put my hands up straight away. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. 
don't do that either. Right. Um, yeah, so we take out the guard in... Oh, now what? Oh, it's lock up. Right. Okay. Um, we take out the guard in the... Visitation. We get a baton and a set of keys. No stun buttons, I'm not saying. And then we break down one of the... Oh, this guy come to make my bed. That's very nice of him. Uh, yeah, so we we take out a guard, we take the baton and a set of keys, we then break through the visitor table, go out the visitor door, get targeted by the sniper, but then go inside another building, removing line of sight. And basically try to do that as many times as it is practical to do so, in order to try and get out. 12 o'clock in the AM, we've got an hour, hopefully only an hour of lockup. But I shall see. There's guys exercising here. If I was to just like start punching things, I'm wondering if, because uh, I've got instigator. <laughs> I wonder if anything will happen or not. Hmm. Let's see. We can escape via a taser teleport, I think. But that's. Hmm. Questionable tactics. I may look at that if not if, if all else fails, but we'll class it as a failed escape attempt. Right. Oh, so it's it's not lock up for us because we're only high risk, not super. I think unless someone's coming to go pick us up already. Anyway, let's see if what I mentioned actually works. Oh, ah, that's made it worse now. We have doggos. And guards. We do have a lighter though. So if I wanted to, I can just sort of do this and <laughs> doesn't matter. You know, there is a chance of you just getting tasered. Okay. One thing I've not yet tried is simply walking out the front. I know we're going to get shot from the sniper, assuming they're on station. But I mean, it's rude of me not to just try. There's the line of sight from the sniper. Try and break line of sight. We get sniped. But we got a lot further than I thought we would. Okay. Oh. Oh, we know our Supermax. Ah, uh, right. <laughs> this is what happens when you see a proper set up custom regime uh, and policies. Are we going to spend most of our time in lockup now? If so, this might be a definite failure. I'm on max speed. Please tick over to three and say... Oh, it's going to be lock up again. I can't see the, the the time. I mean, I could just farm some points. There's no reason not to just farm points. You know, just just farm points, and if we need to hire other pe hire, uh, recruit other people, then we can do. So skip punishments. And having even left by the time we'd skipped and then attacked. We can't go up to a higher category of inmates, so there's no disadvantage of doing this. In fact, if anything, I'm farming points uh, for the scoreboard at the end. Uh, there's a set of keys there. Lots of set of keys. We are injured, though, so I was going to say if a doggo comes along, it's going to hit us once and we'll uh, probably die twice. Um, I don't know if that actually said what I thought it said. I think that was over 100 hours of like lock up oh it's lock up again i genuinely don't think i think this is i think this is it i think we're gonna have to put this down as a fail like we can't leave because it's constant lock up practically it might even be constant lock up um the only thing we can do really is just de-staff the entire <laughs> facility <laughs> is that possible? I mean, it is. Um, but not at this rate. Skip punishments again. So I wonder if there's going to be any point that we will be able to uh, get out of the cell. Or is it genuinely going to be just lock up constantly? Yeah, it's lock up again. That was 263 hours of uh, 
of punishment there before I skipped it. I must, there must be some time. There must be some time where it says, oh yeah, yeah, you've got a, a little bit of eat time. Otherwise, Osborne here is going to just spend all the time in this uh, cell. Well, that and all of these guards. There's another another cheeky 95 hours of solitary or punishment. Please let the 6 o'clock be something other than lock up. Eat! Yes! Skip punishments. Right, go. You're not eating, you're running. So I did try to run out the front, and it actually got... I got a lot further than I thought I would, but I don't think that's the way forward. I do think... Um, doing what I mentioned earlier is the way to do it. Although there are other areas maybe around here. Um, can't go there. Can, can we go into there? Maybe going through the staff room in this way might work. Okay. Let me try that. Let me try that. So a pair of scissors... And, which I don't want to, oh, we're going to get tears at some point, aren't we? So around here, and I need a set of keys, so I will attack the guard. I'll pick up the, I will not pick up the set of keys. Let's leave again. And I'm not even sure if we were to, if, if this was to change in terms of the, uh, the category. If we were a lower category, would this be valid? I don't really know. Like, would it be a lot easier? Not sure. Anyway, we are in here. And we have guards stationed. Take out the doggo. And then take out inmates. Eh, uh, inmates. Uh, take out uh, that guy to get the set of keys to then start a run in there. So we're going to start running out the front. Oh, that staff only as well. This is not going to work out. And there's lots of tasers. We can then go... Oh, we can't go out that way. I can go out this way, though. And out the front. And into more staff only areas. That is going to be overlooked by snipers. What? Oh, you're joking. <laughs> no... We're being searched. No, it's lock up. So now we're being escorted back. <laughs> hmm. And there's no there's nothing this way either. Wow. I do think I went the wrong way. If I went north, that's not set to that's not staff only. I've I'm gonna go to skip punishment because I can't be bothered waiting for do this. Um, the sticky wicket at this stage is the constant lockup. If we were to be a normal category of inmate, possibly escape by the front door, going to the staff room, getting a set of keys, running through that area that's like staff only to the right, through all of that, into the corridor, out the front door, and then go north, because that's not staff only. What we'd have to do, though, is we would, we'd have to end fight and not surrender. If we were to end the fight, the snipers wouldn't see what we're doing as um, being a problem. But yeah. I mean, there's another thing I could possibly do. And that is... Uh, I don't think Osborne's leaving this place. I really don't. But someone else might be able to. We've got 122 rep points. What we're going to have to do is... Wait until it's not lock up for this character. Which apparently is... It's permanent. <laughs> Apart from when it's, apart from when we're getting fed, apart from when there's food on the go, it's permanent. Yeah, lock up. 
But if we were to recruit another person who was normal or low risk category, their regime would be different. Let's still lock up. I mean, that's that guy is Sandy. So this person can freely go about their day. And we have enough points to pick up a lot of this. I think this is the only way of doing it. I'm going to keep attempting this. I'm going to keep attempting this because I think... I think it's possible and I think the effort is... It's worthy of the attempts to continue on than admitting defeat. We'll give it a couple of attempts. So, we want to go in here, attack that guard, pick up a set of keys, then get tasered. Okay, skip punishments. The problem is every time we do that, and every time we take somebody out, it's, there's the potential to be moved into a different category of inmate. So I'm going to have to be quite conservative with the spending of points, which is why I'm not picking up... Oh, have I just tripped that? I have. And we'll get search. I'll probably pick up strong, tough, deadly, skilled fighter. But the other stuff I'll leave. So, pick up the scissors. The guard that is stationed, we attack them, we get their keys, and we start a running. So there's a doggo behind us. Sadly, that will be our next victim. And we're going to keep backing up. Unconscious. Unconscious yet it's still coming for me. That's a savage beast. Um, <laughs> and that doggo. We come through here and through here. And we're sprinting. There is apparently no sniper there. And there. We might have... No, there's definitely a sniper there. <laughs> we almost got there, but I've just seen something. I've seen another weakness. That's going to make it much easier. We don't have to go through. We don't have to wait for those doors. I should have spotted that sooner. There's a visitor door on the very top left in this corridor. I don't have to go into this. There it is there. That's it. That's the weak spot. Let's get exploiting. Let's get tased. <laughs> and we're high, right, we're, in, we're now to the really high category of inmate again. Okay. So that person, Sandy, sadly, they are, they're, yeah, they're, they're gone. We, we can't, we can't run with them anymore. They are not a viable person. We are using people to at least get one person out. So, we're going to recruit Piddock, who has this thing. Interesting. Has scissors. I'm going to drop those. Reputations. We'll pick up some reputations. I've just triggered that metal detector. Not that it's a problem. So, we spent uh, 24 points getting this person specced out to, uh, like, you know, position to escape. I mean, strong, extremely strong, extremely tough. Extremely deadly skilled fighter. I don't particularly need quick and I don't need swimmer or instigator. S quick would be nice actually. But I don't want to pin all my hopes on. Are we being searched again? Yeah, we love being searched. There we go. So, we pick up this set of keys. We then need. Sorry, uh, scissors. We need now a set of keys. What I'm going to do is attack the doggo and then get tased. It's always tases. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, tases. Is this, by the way, is this like constantly in darkness? I'm not sure. Right, I am actually going to pick up quick because I do find myself trying to sprint. And I guess more speed, more better. This is probably going to be the longest escapes video 
we've made, but let's say I think the facility is worthy of the attention. Um, right, perfect. There's no dog all around here, which means hopefully I can go up to this guy and say, Morning! Uh, so I was tasered, but it didn't do anything. And please don't go through the wall. They have not gone through the wall. But I can get through here now. Okay. So, what we need to do is head down. We need to head through these doors. Uh, we can end fight. I'm not going to. Oh, right. This is a problem. This door is... Uh, needs to be opened by someone else. Ah, oh, we've been tasered. Yeah, that's got a door servo on it. Once again, we're going to remove Piddock because we've been placed into a high category of inmate. We're going to recruit. No, we're not. We're going to try and recruit one of these guys. No. Anytime we go past Stone Lake, they look quite. Oh, I was going to say, they're, they're going to have some loads of traits because they're a, like a big character. And generally, in the full game, that means, um, yeah, that they have strong traits and stuff, but apparently not. So again, spent uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 29 points on getting Stone Lake here, specced up. Right, yeah, that, that door servo is again another issue. Hmm... Okay, I don't even know how we're going to fit through doors as this character. So, we will get the scissors. Oh, and there's Osborne. <laughs> I guess we could have them follow us. Um, so, a couple of guards. That guard's going that way, and there's a guard stationed there, and there's another guard exhausted. Oh, look at all these guards coming in. There's so much taser I'm going to have to deal with. Hmm. What if we just run through here? Right, so back to normal speed, because otherwise um, it's a problem. And then tears it again. Oh, and then straight away put into higher category. Um, and skip punishments. Well, I think I'm going to do this until I run out of points, which is sooner rather than later. And then I, I think just for the, the sake of time, I may have to admit defeat. I know where we're being escorted to. Yeah, there's all of our points used. We can very easily farm them. Oh, no, it's now it's normal lockup. It's just lockup for everybody. Right. Well, what I'm going to do is going to go up Prisoner Osborne here. And I will just farm points. Because we might as well. Let's, uh, yeah, see how this one goes. We're just going to keep doing this until the lockup finishes. And obviously, we're not doing this with Owens, our recently recruited prisoner. Because if we do that, then we will put in a high we we put into a high category and such, and we just don't need that in our lives. Um, this is possibly, well, I think it is the longest escape attempt. That might even be, it's not even successful yet. And I'm getting more disheartened as the time goes by. Well, I don't know if it's possible. Every facility is possible. But... Is it, is it, it's possible, but is it like within the time constraints allotted? I don't know. We can tear the teleport. Let's just, you know, we can do that. We can, we can do that. Um, I'm not going to, I don't think. But just farm some more points. It's currently lock up and then it's going to go another sleep time, isn't it? Uh, skip punishment there. And I think it's a shame that Osborne's not going to get out. I don't know how many. I don't know how many combined hours this guy may have on their record, but it's going to be a lot. They would definitely be classed as a super max inmate, surely, or even legendary. Legendary, yeah. I just pick up a, a dog. Uh, why don't you pick up a dog leash there? Right. Back on attempt number 576. Let's see about getting out. We're just going to have to be... Well, lucky would be nice. Let's see. 
if we weren't put into a higher category of uh, prisoner, then this would be a lot easier. But then again, we could probably say a lot about that if we were if this hadn't happened. Right. So we take out the doggo. That person then leaves. I then come around the corner, and oh my good grief! There's so many guards chasing us. Um, I don't think I'm gonna manage this. I'm just gonna have to try and go around. Oh, there's a set of keys. There's a set of keys that I need to try and go out. So we'll take that guy out on the way past. We then need to get through this door. This one here with the servo on it. And I'm going to have to hope that the doggos let me out. And then this is the this is the point where I need to keep attacking. And I think the doggos are going to get me here. No. Through that one. One more door remaining. No tasers to worry about. Owns is out. <laughs> Owens has escaped. Osborne, sadly, has been tased again. That's been a bit of prison architect escapes. Osborne ain't getting out. Osborne is going to be a permanent resident here as a supermax inmate. Yeah. Okay. This, this has been the OG. Uh, like I say, possibly the most updated worst prison on workshop and it's exceptionally secure <laughs> you can't as far as I can tell burn your way out because of the perimeter wall you can't really tunnel out because of all the patrols you could get exceptionally lucky being placed in like a position like the bottom left you could work out the patrol route and dig through it especially when you've got the laundry up here so I think that is certainly viable running out the front door was apparently a lot more viable than I thought originally um, the way we did it there though that's so far without doing like a run out with multiple people or doing tears of teleport exploit type things that's probably the best way i've found um it only works though if people are coming through that door that's got the door server on because otherwise you will never you'll never be able to smash that down in time before inevitably they just the weight of tasers brings you down um yeah and to be honest, to, to fix all of that, just a couple more doors. In fact, that visitor door at the top, change that visitor door to be a um, remote access only and put a door server on it. Then this is pretty much the most secure thing you can imagine. <laughs> Apart from, you know, the typical expand all the way around and put multiple layers of uh, fencing and, you know, that way, which which is just like, you know, the, the easy mode for making stuff inescapable and adding water in as well. Either way, very much enjoyed the facility. Lots of interesting features, very well designed and hats off to the creator and for keeping updated for so long. That's been a bit of Prison Architect Escapes. I don't know how you would rate this one. Is this a pass? Is this a pass or a fail? We have escaped with Prisoner Owens, but Osborne is permanently here. Is it like a plausible... Let me know in the comments. Hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings. Yeah. <laughs>